All right, good morning everybody and welcome to today's uh, Acumatica Demo University. My name is Richard Duffy and as you probably know by now, I am the Acumatica Product Evangelist and I am also the Acumatica uh, Vice President of Partner uh, Strategy and Enablement. So on behalf of everybody at Acumatica, I want to welcome you to today's session. I also want to thank you, um, thank those of you who are able to make it along to our recent Acumatica Partner Summit. And that just wrapped up obviously last week. We had a really, really good couple of days at the summit, then followed that up with some, uh, some really good opportunities to learn. Uh, and I can see from the attendee list, I can see some of the folks um, who joined us there in, uh, uh, in uh, Denver. Uh, in Broomfield in Colorado and I can see some folks were able to then join us at the um, at the sales and pre-sales training course after that but I think from what I can see the majority of you um, did not actually make it along to that session. So what am I going to cover today? Well what I'm going to cover today is I'm going to introduce you to a couple of new tools, one new tool in particular that um, that I think or I'm hoping is going to be is going to be valuable for you um, and that tool is called Evernote and in Evernote um, there is a, uh, a particular component that I have created um, there's actually two there is a, an Acumatica sales toolkit and there is an Acumatica um, there is an Acumatica marketing toolkit so I'm just pausing the screen for a second because I just want to quickly um, set a poll for you. And I just want to quickly grab your feedback. So one second. And I'm going to pump that poll out. Do you currently use Evernote? And the options are yes, no, and what's Evernote? All right, and I'm going to save that. And then I am going to push that poll out to you. Do you currently use Evernote? And let's launch that. All right, so if you could just take a couple of seconds, I just want to find out from those of you who are attending, um, how many of you are actually using Evernote? That's going to give me an indication of how much I need to talk about that versus, um, you know, just getting into the getting into the nuts and bolts. Okay, so seventy-five percent of you have voted, sixty-seven percent of you have said yes, twenty-three percent have said no, and eight percent have said what's Evernote. So, eighty-one percent voted waiting for one or two more votes. All right, good. So let's just close the poll. Uh, I think that gives me a pretty good understanding of some of the things that I need to cover with you today. So 67% of you said yes, uh, you do currently use Evernote. 27% of you said no, and 7% of you have said uh, what's Evernote. So let me just quickly, to make sure we're all on the same page, let me bring you up to speed um, with what is Evernote. And for those of you who don't have Evernote, I'd like you to work along with me here uh, if you wouldn't mind. And don't forget, this session isn't just for those of you who are on today's call. Um, it's also for those of you who are, um, uh, who are watching the recording. So uh, again, what is Evernote? Well, Evernote is a tool that I have been using for many, many years now that enables me to share information with you. It allows me to create what's called a notebook and it allows me to then share that notebook with you. And in that notebook, I can put all kinds of different content. Think about the old days of selling. When I first started my selling career, I carried around a, a big square, kind of like a briefcase on steroids. And in that briefcase on steroids, it had all kinds of different dividers. And in each one of those dividers, I kept all my different documents. I kept my product brochures, I kept my price lists, um, I kept my customer testimonials, I kept all the different documents that I needed to help me be effective as a salesperson. Evernote is the 21st century version, for me, 
of that um, of that 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 salesman's briefcase. So what does it do? Basically, allows you to gather all that information, obviously in a digital format, and put it all in the one location. Now, how do you sign up for an Evernote account? Because that's really the first step that you need. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to www.evernote.com. All right, so this is the website for Evernote. And um, if you think about Evernote, it's kind of a little bit like Dropbox. It's a little bit like Box.com. It's a little bit like OneDrive in terms of its ability to, to capture and gather all that information. But the thing that I really like about Evernote is that it actually allows me to, to make the content much more, much more rich. It's got presentation tools built into it. It's got content tagging tools built into it. It's got search tools built into it. And of course, the other thing I really like about it is not only does it run on the web, but it also runs on just about every device that you can possibly think of. So, step one in this process is you sign up for an Evernote account. All right, and an Evernote account is free. So in order to sign up, all you do is you go in here and you choose sign up and you put in your email address and you create a password and then you hit sign up. Then what Evernote does is it creates a free account for you. Once you have that free account, you can then go here and then you can choose download and it will automatically detect if you're running on Windows or the Mac and it will download a client version for you. You can then go into your Google Play Store. You can go into your Google, uh, into your um, Apple App Store, and you can download um, the 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 client for Evernote. You can also get uh, a version of Evernote for your Windows Phone or for your Windows 8.1 based or your Windows 8 based tablet, like if you're running a Surface or a Surface Pro. All right, so that's how you get the tool. So what does the tool actually do for you? Well, what it does is it allows me to create these toolkits. So this is the Acumatica Sales Toolkit. And what it allows me to do is it allows me to create these pages which are called notes. And it enables me to create each one of these notes. And in these notes I can put different kinds of things like the uh, product brochures, like the ROI calculator, like our demo sales toolkit, like the um, positioning and messaging guide that I have mentioned to you in previous discussions. Now, once I've put all of that content in there, what it allows me to do is it allows me to uh, invite you to have access to this toolkit. Once I do that, you then get an invitation to join the toolkit and then when you accept that invitation, all of the content that I've put in this sales toolkit automatically then gets pushed out to you. You automatically have access to it. So how does this help you? Well, it helps you because um, it basically allows me to feed to you all of the core information you need to be effective as a sales or pre-sales person with Acumatica without you having to do anything, without you having to go to our portal and look for information, without you having to speak to your channel manager and ask them for the latest information. My job then is to become your personal information butler and make sure that your wardrobe is stacked full of nice, usable, wearable, freshly pressed um, sales tools and sales information that you are able to then share um, with your customers, with your prospective customers, and you're able to use in your sales process. So hopefully that makes sense so far. Um, any questions right now? I'm just going to stop for a second and look in um, our chat pod and see does anybody have any questions right now on what I've covered so far. Everything is fairly clear. 
there's no um, no no questions about that. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so no questions. Good. So that's fairly clear. So then, how does? Uh, let's go ahead, and um, I'm going to give you an example of how I invite somebody. So, of all, those of you, first person who does not currently have access to the Acumatica Sales Toolkit, if you can just um, jump into the chat and let me know. Just one of you will do. Just give me your email address. Okay, thanks, Chris. So I've got my I've got my victim. So it's Chris Isbell. So. All I then do, Chris and everybody, is I will go here into the sales toolkit and hopefully, Chris, you don't mind me sharing your email address. It's going to be visible to others during this session. Is that okay if I do that? Just give me a quick yes or no in the chat. Thank you. Got an okay from Chris. Um, and so I'm going to go in here and I go in here and I say share notebook. And then what I do is I go in here and I put in your email address. And hopefully, Chris, you've also signed up for an Evernote account. And then I put in your name there, and then I tell you, or I tell the system that you have access to view the content that's in here. Um, and then I'm getting a couple of other people who've asked, um, Nancy, I think I've already invited you. I think I did that the other day. Um, hopefully. Uh, I think, are you on the call? Uh, no, you're not, but uh, I just got a ping from um, from Roman asking me to add her. I can see Aragu, I've got you there. Um, so I'll just put you in as well, just so you can see the process. Um, at itcusa.com. All right. And then I just hit save. And what you'll see happens here is it sends you an invitation. So then what's going to happen, um, Chris and Raghu, in a couple of seconds, you're actually going to get an invitation to access that notebook. And, oh, okay, I've got uh, John and McCabe. I'll just quickly add you as well whilst I'm here. And I'll send you an invitation as well. Can, uh, can view. I don't give people edit or invite uh, view because um, you know it's. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm controlling the information um, and who gets access to it. Obviously, we don't want um, non-partners having access uh, to this information. All right. Now. I'm going to call it quits on the invitations for now. Um, again, just ping me with an email, or actually I'll grab the chat log after this session, and anybody who's requested it in the chat log, I'll, uh, I'll add you as well. But now I'm going to hit save, and that should, okay, two more invitations sent out. So then what happens is you um, then get access to this toolkit. So in here, what can you find? You can find all kinds of different information. So for example, here's the Acumatica Demo Data Kit. So there's two ways of getting this. You could go to the Acumatica Partner Portal, all right, and you could search for it in the Partner Portal, but you don't have to any longer because I've put all that information in here. All of the standard agreements that you need in order for you to execute contracts, for you to share information with your um, potential customers, they're all in here as well. Okay, so you can see there's the end user license agreement. Um, and then there's also the user agreement, the end user license agreement for um, um, subscription licensing and so on and so forth. So they're all in there. So anytime you're looking for anything, you'll see every one of these documents that I create, I actually tag them. So what does that mean? You can go in here and you can search, for example, if you are looking for um, an end user license agreement. right? Uh, you just go here into the toolkit, you go up here to the search and you type EULA and what do you now see? 
it then brings you up all of the documents that are actually tagged with EULA. If you're looking for sales tools, you start typing sales tools, okay, and then what do you see? Um, it will then show you just the sales tools that are there. Now the best thing to do is always start off by selecting the sales toolkit because you may end up, and you can see I've actually got quite a lot, you might end up with a whole bunch of different notebooks because you can create your own once you've got this set up. Um, always select your notebook first and then start searching sales tools. All right. Um, and you can see sales tool, there's eight of them. All right. Now, so this is actually searching across all of my notebooks. So I've got um, some of my other stuff here. But you can see one of the things that's come up with is the business blueprint sales system. This is the next one of the things that I want to introduce you to in today's session. But let's say, for example, you are looking for presentations. You can go in here and just start searching presentations. Okay, and you can see in all of my notebooks, I've got 32 presentations. And it always sorts them on the basis of the date. But you can see here is the latest Acumatic company presentation. All right, so there's a whole bunch of different things that you're able to see in here. And um, you can narrow it down. You can say presentations Acumatica. What it then does is it will also go and search on the basis of that. Acumatica and presentations. And you can also search for every document has the word Acumatica in there. Or I can say, just show me all of my data sheets. Okay. And you can see right now, I actually have 16 data sheets in there. So all of the data sheets that you need for Acumatica are already in there. And guess what? If we update them, you don't have to worry because all I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll delete the old one and replace it with the new one. So this will always be the latest copy of the information you need to be effective. All right? So again, going to pause for a second, give you the option to um, jump onto the chat uh, and ask any questions that you may have. And I'm going to unmute everybody. I always like to do this at least once in a call to see who's paying attention to me and who's uh, sitting there making another phone call. But if you've got any questions that you might like to ask um, verbally, here's your opportunity. So just unmuting all. Uh, Richard, this is Richard. This is Raghu. Uh, Hi. Where would I find your invitation in Evernote? Okay, so it should have come into your um, into your email address for whatever the um, email was that you gave me. So you gave me, um, I think it was um, Raghu P at. Um, itccusa.com. So no, that is correct. Yeah. So if yeah. you look in there, you should have an uh, an invitation, and it'll actually come from Evernote. Yes, I got it. Okay. So you found that. Okay. Now, have you signed up for an Evernote account? Yes, I did. Okay. So um, the best way to to then get access to this is just log on to your Evernote account on the web, and then click on the link in the email, and it'll ask you, "Do you want to open it up?" Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions? Great. And it looks like Chris, um, Chris has been able to open it. Um, so then once you've done that, just make sure okay, that you do download a version of Evernote for your particular device, whether it's your Windows PC, your Mac, or your mobile device, or all of them if you've got multiple. And then what it will do is it will synchronize and it will pull all of the content down onto your local machine. So even if you're offline, you've still got access to it. Now the other advantage to this is if all you've got is a web browser, okay, then all you need to do is go to the evernote.com website, sign in with your account, 
and you'll actually have access to that notebook from a web browser as well. Just that when you go to grab some of the content, for example, if you want the ROI calculator, when you're using it from the web, it'll have to download it to that PC. All right, but most of the content here is relatively small in terms of file sizes, uh, and you should be in good shape. All right, make sense? Perfect. Any other questions before I put you all back on mute? Nope, okay, good. I'm putting you all back on mute now. Again, if you want to ask a question, please feel free to raise your hand. Great. So, you've now got access to all this information. A couple of other things I want to show you. Um, let's say, for example, you've got a customer who says, well, gee, I'd really like um, a brochure on, you know, on Acumatica. Can you send me a brochure on the financial management? So you can go here, for example, into the financial data sheet. And if you look up here, you'll see there is an option to share it. And you can share it by email. You can share it through social media. You can post it to Facebook, post it to Twitter, or post it to LinkedIn. You can copy the note URL to your clipboard and then use it in some other document. But let's say, for example, I want to send this by, via email. So let's say I'm going to pick somebody um, at random. Uh, okay. I'm going to pick... Well, Penelope, you've put in your name there. I've got your email address. So I'm going to put you in here. PPS at evron.com and I'm sending you this and then I'll put in a note here. Hi Penelope, good to talk today. Here's the data sheet I mentioned. All right, and then I'm going to CC myself on the email so I see what you got and I see what you see just to make sure it all came through okay. And then I say send. All right. And then I get a note saying the email's been sent successfully. Um, actually, I do want to keep showing me that message. So now, what's going to happen? In a couple of seconds, Penelope is going to receive an email. And in a couple of seconds, I'm going to receive an email as well. So all things being equal, up here in the top, you should see I get my little email notification. It's going to come up. And then if I go in and I actually open up, oh, there it is, Acumatica data sheet. Let's go and open up that email message. And there you can see, um, hi Penelope, good to talk today. Here's the data sheet I mentioned. There's the information. And then I double click and there is the data sheet. So it's a great way to share that information. All right, so far so good. I'm assuming yes, good, and Penelope's received hers as well. Now, while we're talking about data sheets, a number of people have contacted us recently um, and have said, you know what, um, I'd really like to customise these data sheets for our company, but I don't know how to do it. Um, bear with me for one second, I'm going to have a coughing fit, so I'm just going to put you on mute. Okay, that's done. So then um, how do you, uh, I want to show you quickly how you can edit these because a lot of people have said, you know what, um, these are great, but who do they tell you to contact? They tell you to contact Acumatica. I don't want people contacting Acumatica. I want them to contact me. So what do you do? Well, very, very simple. You right click and you open the document. Now, you're going to need to have a copy of Adobe Acrobat to do this, all right, or some kind of document um, editor that allows you to edit documents with, um, uh, you know, th that allows you to edit PDFs. Um, if you've got that, you can open up the data sheet. So I'll say open with Adobe Acrobat. And there it is. So you can see I'm using Adobe Acrobat Pro. And then I go in here and I say edit edit text and images. So now, if I want to, I can now scroll down and I can go in here and I can start replacing the information that's in the data sheet. So for example, if I want them to contact P 
Penelope. Let's say I'm doing this for you, Penelope. I just go in here and I replace the content and I'll say contact P Pierce at evron.com. Okay. And then um, what you'll see, I've got a little message here telling me that the original font, which is universe LT standard, is not available or can't be used in editing. And it's going to put in a different font in its place. Now what you can do is you can go in here. Let's get rid of that. I use Creative Cloud on a number of my different machines. So if I go in here, I'm going to just quickly uh, hit continue. And that allow me to keep working. So you'll see you can go in here and you can start changing the fonts. So if you're using a particular font that you like to use, you can go and use that particular font. Okay, so if there's a font that you use for your organization, at Acumatica we have our own font called Tilium. So what you can do is you can select that and then you can choose that particular font. And the reason why you can do this is that we do not secure the documents. Okay? So um, that basically means that you can go in and you can update all this information. All right? And you can go in here and you can change this over on the side and you can replace that with evron.com. Okay, again, the secret to this is to make sure that you do have the right fonts um, or that you have chosen to display your information using the font that's installed on your machine and is in line with your corporate branding. Okay? So then, let's say, for example, you actually want to add your company logo to the data sheet. Well, again, what would I do? Well, step one, make sure I've actually got a version of that, um, of the logo. That's what I want. And so if I go to www, I'm just going to cheat here for a second. You need to make sure you've got a good quality, um, a good quality copy of the logo. Usually, just going to a website right and grabbing a picture just like this so that's evron.jpg isn't necessarily going to give you the best result um, so if I go here and I hit save now if I go back to that um, that data sheet I can now go add image navigate out to where I saved it and it'll be in my downloads and there it is, evron.jpg. And now it's going to ask me where specifically do I want to put that image and then I can add that in there. All right? So, again, um, that's how you can go through the process of editing all those data sheets and then adding your own company logo to them and if you want to, you can even start getting um, even more funky. However, um, my request to you is we spend a lot of time um, and effort in, um, you know, creating these documents and, um, and so on. So please um, avoid the temptation to go in and change this wording course you can um, you know it's it's up to you so Michael um, Michael just asked the question um, what pixel pattern do you need that was pretty fuzzy and, th and that's only because that image that I grabbed I grabbed it from Evron's website so it's going to be a pretty low resolution image Michael the higher resolution you've got the better all right Hopefully that makes sense and somebody else is asking a question so let me just dive across here. Cool. So yeah, the higher the resolution, the better result you're going to get. 
Okay. Then when you've finished, all you do is you go in here and you do a save as. All right. And you could have give it a name and say this is now my Evron branded Acumatica data sheet for financial management. And then I'll save it. Okay. And that's now done. I've now got my customized version. All right. Again, the thing to bear in mind, the reason why you can do all of that is because we have not secured those documents. So knock yourselves out. Uh, you can go and, uh, and, and go crazy. So that's the second thing I wanted to show you in today's session because I know that's a question that a number of people um, have asked, in particular Greg from Cloud9. I know you've been, um, you've been chasing us for a while to figure out how we do that. Uh, and also Dan from Nextview I think was also asking the question, how do you, how do you get that done? So um, that's, how, that's how we do it. So uh, Penelope, I hope you don't mind me showing everybody the Evron, um, the Evron website there. But uh, anyway, um, there you have it. Let's go back now then to our um, sales toolkit. All right. And yes, the answer to that question, Michael. Michael was just asking, do you need the Adobe Acrobat full program? Yes, you do. Um, or do you need some software that will enable you to edit um, Acrobat PDF files? And there's plenty of them out there that you can buy. Um, some of them cheap and cheerful. Some of them more fully featured. I've got a, an um, an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, which gives me access to all of the Adobe tools. Um, I would highly recommend that at least one person in your organization gets access to the Adobe Creative Cloud. I cannot tell you the number of times it has got me out of difficulty because you get all kinds of tools. You get the tools you need for, for editing photos with Photoshop. You get tools you need for editing web pages with Dreamweaver. Um, you get tools that you can open um, videos and convert them from one format to another. Now, Roman's just jumped on and said that he can actually open up his PDFs in Microsoft Word and edit them in Microsoft Word. I can honestly say I've never actually tried that. Why don't we put uh, why don't we put Roman to the test, and let's just go and see if we can do that. We'll test it on the fly because that's what we like to do here. We like to work without a net, just like all the demos that we had at our um, at our uh, recent event. So if I'm going to open a file off my computer, and I'll look in my documents and. Let's see. Let me just find Evernote, Evernote, Evernote. Where did it save those documents? Sorry, one second. Because not only does Evernote actually save them in that um, and bring them up in the client, but they all those files actually get saved. Um, they get saved into, uh, I think it's actually under program files. Let's have a look. Program files. It's not a 64-bit program. I think it's a 32-bit program. So it's going to be under here maybe. Program files. There it is, Evernote. Expand that out, Evernote. And is it under there? No, it's not. I'm going to have one more poke around in another location because the other place it might be is it might be under program data. No, it's not. I'm going to stop flailing around for a second and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into Evernote. Okay, and I am going to do a right click again. I'm going to say save as um, or actually I'm going to open it rather. So I'll open again with Adobe Acrobat. And then I'm going to go File, Save As. Okay, that's better. 
now I can see where it is. Okay, so it's actually in my profile under App Data Local Attachments and um, there's that particular file. So if I just grab that shortcut up here, so I'll do a Control C. So I now I've got that location. Let's go back into Word and I'm going to go Browse. I'll go up here. Control V, press enter, and there we go. So that's the one I'm looking for, my Acumatica data sheet. All right, Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. Okay, it's not going to look exactly like the original PDF. So again, important to know that um, this could change the layout. Right, and good one, Richard, you idiot. You actually forgot to say OK. My bad. OK, there we go. That's the one I want. Open. And I'll say OK. Kachung, 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 kachung. Word is thinking away, it's converting the document. So you'll see, yes, it does look very, very different. So uh, be very careful if you are using uh, Microsoft Word to make these changes because it can totally destroy um, the layout of the document. All right? But again, a matter of um, whether or not uh, you know you want to take just the content for example you might just want to take the content and build your own data sheet right feel free to do that the only disadvantage of that is of course every time we update our data sheets you potentially lose um, you lose the benefit of having those things updated for you all right cool I can see somebody's asking me a question. I'm going to say don't save because I don't want to save those changes. And all right. And you can, Roman's just also pointed out quite rightly, when you right click, you can say open with and you can choose open with Word. All right. The other thing you can do is you can also open it up with Adobe Illustrator. So again, if you've got all these different programs, you're in good shape. Now, here's another little nifty trick. You can actually go in here and you can annotate a copy of that PDF. So what does it do? It opens you up in PDF annotation mode. So what you're able to do is you can now start marking this up. Okay. Um, and you can go in here and you can put an arrow on here. And then you can go into your markup tools, for example. And you can say, well, I actually want to add some text. So I'll pop some text in here and I'll say, hi Penelope, here's the key info I mentioned to you. Okay. Um, and then you can take that and you can go file and you can save and exit it. You can get rid of the... Um, you can get rid of the, the annotations at any time by going in here and going clear annotations, all pages, or you can basically save it and then email it out to anybody. So then, you know, you put in a little bit of extra work, you know, making the document a little bit more usable um, for, for people. So if I go save and exit, what you'll see it's done, it's actually um, put a copy of that into the sales toolkit for me, right? Um, but I actually don't want that, so I'm going to delete that note. Okay, but you can take it and then you can share it out from your version of the sales toolkit and everything like that. Um, going to have another coughing fit, one second. All right, I'm back. Now, the next thing I want to show you um, is something that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's something that we launched at the summit. So for those of you who were there, you probably already saw me talk about this. 
Although I have spoken to a few people who were there and they couldn't remember for the life of them what, I, what the heck I was talking about. So I'm not sure if that was they weren't paying attention or my presentation skills need updating. Make sure I'm engaging your limbic systems and your neocortex so that you remember these things. One of the things that we're releasing, and we have released, and it's now part of the sales toolkit, is the Acumatica Business Blueprint sales system. What is the Acumatica Blueprint sales system? What I want to do in today's session is I want to give you a quick introduction to it. And then in next week's session, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Charlie Horton to join me and we're going to set up a video camera and we're going to stream um, a training session to you with some live video. And we're actually going to role play for you the usage of um, the business blueprints. But let me take a couple of seconds and just explain to you what these are for. Before I do, uh, again, I'm going to use the Spider-Man defense. I call it the Spider-Man defense because it comes from um, the first Spider-Man movie where um, Peter Parker's um, uncle um, says to him, uh, Peter, with great power comes great responsibility. So um, these are very powerful documents, but it's like a gun. If you point it in the wrong direction and pull the trigger, someone's going to get hurt. As Russell Peters once said, those of you who know Russell Peters, the Indian comedian, he once said, somebody's going to get hurt that are real bad. So um, you don't want to do that. You don't want to use these um, incorrectly. And an example of incorrect usage is posting these onto your website. They are not website content documents. Sending them out to a prospect um, as a piece of collateral. They are not designed for that. They are very specifically designed to help you when you are sitting face to face with a prospective customer and you are having a discussion with them about Acumatica. Now, we're building these over time and we're releasing them page by page. The first three are up. There'll be another three should be in here by the end of next week. And the idea behind these is there is a blueprint which will cover each and every aspect of the Acumatica product. Okay, so you can see so far we've got one which helps you explain Acumatica overall. We've got one which covers customer management, one which covers financial management. You'll see this next week when we model the usage of these in the video, but these are ideally printed out large size, not on an A4 piece of paper, but a large size in what we traditionally would call um, tabloid, okay, which is a larger size format. Now, the ideal scenario is you print them out the same size as an architect blueprint. All right. Then what you do is you take them out with a, when you're engaged with a prospect. You then um, are able to, and I'm just going to open this document up. And I'm just going to have to sign in um, with my cloud, uh, my creative cloud um, ID because I'm constantly using it across four or five different PCs and it only allows you to use it on two at a time and it's got a really rigorous licensing mechanism. So just bear with me for a second while I quickly do this. All right, good. So now we're in good shape. So that's done. So now if I open that again with Adobe Acrobat, I shouldn't get any funky messages. All right, so here's my document. I'm not going to go here and I'm going to say view and I'm going to say view in full screen mode. All right, so here is the, an example of the blueprint. What it allows you to do, for example, is it allows you to have a guided conversation with a prospective customer. So what is Acumatica's Cloud ERP? It's like a cheat sheet that allows you to say, well, now Acumatica's Cloud Computing is a model for enabling convenient on-demand access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources. And it allows us to rapidly provision um, and provide access to that with minimal management effort. The Acumatica Cloud consists of five key characteristics. It's on demand. It's broadly accessible across a whole variety of um, networks because it runs on the internet. 
it allows us to drive down the cost, okay, because we're using resource pooling, provides rapid elasticity. What is that? That's the ability to grow and shrink the service as requirements change. And it also allows you to only pay for what you need. That's what we mean by measured service. So then, what do you need to know about Acumatica? Well, Acumatica is designed specifically to be role-based. So there are specific roles of people that would use Acumatica. And Acumatica also has the ability to be utilized in different channels in your organization. So you can, of course, give your employees access to the system, which you would want to do. But with Acumatica, you can also enable your customers and your suppliers to access information relevant to them seamlessly through Acumatica's portal functionality. Also, if you're selling your product through partners, you can give them the ability to access it. And they can use a whole variety of connected devices. They can use a PC, they can use a tablet, they can use a smartphone. Matter of fact, all they need is a web browser. So, if you think about the Acumatica cloud architecture, what it's basically doing is it's providing through these connected devices to these different kinds of people with these different roles, access to any or all of these functional areas, financials, customer relationship management, distribution. You'll see we've even included payroll to cover the new payroll module, which is going to be made available with Acumatica very, very shortly. Fixed assets and intercompany. So you're able to then have a conversation about the product suites and what they work on. And then you can also talk then about the deployment models. So hopefully this makes sense. Now the beauty of this is what you can do is I want you to imagine, and I'll show you this next week, when I'm sitting there with a prospective customer, the ideal way to work with this is you have a master set that you carry with you wherever you go. And you have them laminated. So you print them out and get them laminated, and you can do this at any FedEx office, get them to use the dry erase lamination, and then you take along two marking pens, two dry erase marking pens, one for you, and one you sit down in front of the customer. And as you're going through it and explaining exactly what this is all about, you can start marking it up. So you can go in here and say, well, you know what, you can see, we've actually got the financials capability and the one thing which you said was really important to you was the employee portal. So you can see we've actually got that. And um, one of the things that you mentioned, you, you're using, all of your people are using tablets. They are. Well, you can see, again, you know, tablets are a supported, um, are a supported uh, device for accessing Acumatica. And then you know when things are working well because your prospective customer then picks up their pen and they actually start saying, so what you're saying here is I can start, I can deploy in a, on cloud or in a public cloud? Yeah, absolutely you can. And then they start making their notes. A little bit difficult for me to do with a mouse, um, but of course if I was using a tablet, if I was demonstrate, if I was using this with a tablet, which is not a good idea, Worst case scenario, if I'm using a tablet and I'm projecting on a screen, you can always use a pen and you can start to ink up your document. All right? So it's a way of bringing your prospective customer into the discussion. It's a way of making sure that you stay on track. And it's a way of making sure that you introduce what we call business theater. And business theater is when your, uh, your presentations become more interactive and more engaging. This is much more interesting if you start using props like this as part of your sales process because it's very limbic. Remember, those of you who came to my pre-sales training, your limbic system is the part of the brain which pays attention to things. So using tools like this helps to keep people's attention focused. Um, and it's a great way uh, of explaining what it is that you're doing. The other side benefit to this is that it makes you look what? It makes you look professional. You roll in with these documents and you can see they even look like architect blueprints. All right? They make you look professional. You can also, when you go into a prospect, maybe you don't get them laminated, 
but you can print them up a copy of these documents which you leave behind with them so then when they go to explain to other people inside the organization what they were talking about, what this Acumatica thing is all about, then guess what you can do? You can then leave that there for them and they can then use their copy of the blueprints to try and have a similar discussion to the one that you had with them. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and so with that, I will just hit the escape button on that and we'll stop presenting that in full screen mode. Okay, and you can see I just used the go to uh, the go to training. Um, I used the go to training uh, tools there, so I'm just going to erase those. Um, but again, uh, hopefully you like the idea behind these. Uh, we're going to be producing a lot more of these. We um, have released our new empower methodology for implementation, so you'll see that there are a whole bunch of um, documents that are going to come out to support the Empower implementation methodology so you can explain them. And the good news is, if you want to start building your own versions of these blueprints, we have the templates that we can provide that will uh, enable you to do this. And we can certainly work with you to build some of these templates. Or I can actually put you in touch with the gentleman who's um, it's his expertise area in building these templates. And we are also now starting the process of building some of these templates with our ISVs. All right. So as they say uh, on a Sunday or a Saturday, depending on which day you go, here endeth the lesson. Um, that brings today's session to a close. Hopefully you found um, these things to be um, very, very useful. I hope that you sign up for the Acumatica Sales Toolkit. Um, right now there are about 60 people. I just launched this two weeks ago. There's 60 people who've signed up for it already. Uh, and I know who you are because I can see when you sign up, uh, I get these notifications. And you will also, in your Acumatica, sorry, in your Evernote, it will tell you when there is um, activity. So you can see all the different things that happen and any time you want to make sure you're up to date, you just go up here and you click on this um, sync button and then um, it will automatically make sure that you've got all the very latest content and you're ready to rock and roll. One final thing I'll leave you with is you can also from inside uh, Evernote is you are also able to go ahead and present these documents from inside Evernote. So let's say for example, I wanted to use the product brochure and I wanted to present the product brochure, I can just click on the presentation tool and you can see it automatically takes this document and it formats it up for you in a presentation ready format. So you can start projecting that up on the screen. You've got your little pointer um, and you can start presenting it directly from here and then it knows that, um, that it is a document. So if you click on it, what you'll see it'll do, it will then automatically open up that document for you as the PDF. Alrighty. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's session. For those of you who joined late or if you uh, want to share this with other folks, as soon as I finish today's session, um, I will automatically encode it and upload it onto the Acumatica YouTube channel. The only link you have to remember, if you go to the Acumatica YouTube channel, you'll find a playlist for um, the, the demo universities. And all of these sessions are all linked back to that individual um, playlist. So with that, I look forward to seeing you next week. Next week, we're going to really step things up to the next level from a technology perspective. We'll have live video streaming um, and next week Charlie Horton and I are going to take you through, we're going to give you a role play of exactly how to start using these, um, these data sheets. And also next week's session I'm going to talk with you um, about how you can start building 
sales execution plans for your most important opportunities to help you keep focused and to help you increase your chances of winning your deal. So with that, again, if you want to subscribe to the sales toolkit, just send me an email to rduffy at acumatica.com requesting access to the sales toolkit. Make sure you've set up an Evernote account for yourself and then I'll be more than happy to share that with you. All right, if you have put in um, in the chat that you want it, I will also grab it from there because uh, I'm going to grab a transcript of the chat. All right, so with that, I wish you a great day, have a great weekend, and I look forward to speaking with you all same time next week. Thank you.